Good afternoon. This is our IEP meeting for Marie Brown. I'm Kristen May. I am her case manager. I am here with her parents to discuss her IEP that we have um, written for this next year. Um, for Marie, I first of all, I went over um, some basic assessments with her. I did a uh, nonsense words and CVC words, which is consonant, vowel, consonant words, just to see um, what she could read, her level of reading, uh, was to work on her decoding skills. Uh, I also had her write her ABCs and then point to the letter and tell me what letter each sound All made. Right, she did really good with that. With and and then I had her read a uh, first grade passage for one minute um, to check on her fluency. Each year in the fall, winter, and spring, we also test each student at their grade level. Uh, so she will be tested at the fourth grade reading level for that too. But um, based on those test scores, I dropped her down to the first grade reading level to test her on those assessments. And then um, to follow up with that, um, we do do the Ames Web Plus to test for curriculum-based measurements, and that is the test that is administered in the fall, the winter, and the spring for math and reading, and that is what is given at grade level for each student. Um, so she was tested um, at fourth grade for each of those, and we will continue to monitor her um, at a first grade level which is what we are working on with her in math and reading is at the first grade level. So when we do um, track her progress in Abe's Web, we are monitoring her on that first grade level. Um, and here are some uh, graphs to show in Abe's Web. It's a wonderful program. It tracks it for us. So here it shows um, what we did in the fall at grade level. So that put her, um, testing her at fourth grade, put her about in the three percentile. So that is why we are seeing here to help close the gap of where she currently is and where her grade level is. So that is at the fourth grade level and you can see that these next, each little bullet point is me testing her at the first grade reading level. And she is progressing up. And then there are a couple times where she's gone down a little bit, but then she's gone back up. And those are a couple of those times um, I specifically noted um, after Thanksgiving break, it went down, which is typical of students. Um, and then this is a graph of um, her reading comprehension. This shows her literacy and her fluency, um, where her percentile is, where she ranks against her um, peers. And then this is also a reading summary that shows um, her reading comprehension skills and her oral reading fluency, which is where she's really struggling here. Um, she, her vocabulary actually is pretty good, but it's the oral reading fluency where she's struggling, where we want to get her back closer to grade level and close the gap on that. Okay. Um, so presently, like I said, she is um, reading at the first grade level. Um, sorry. Um, currently, she's reading 40 words per minute um, at the first grade level. And so when I wrote her goal, I'm going to use that as her baseline. And then her. Um, I have two short-term goals for her to reach and then two long-term goals. So right now she's at 40 words per minute and at the next trimester I would like her to be at 55 words per minute. So that's just bumping up seven points. Um, and then the next trimester I would like her to be at 62 words per minute. So that is bumping up another seven words a minute. And then the two long-term goals are the third trimester to have her reading at 67 words per minute and then the longest goal long-term goal would be um, a year from now for her to be reading at 75 words per minute 
Um, so those are her two short-term goals, her two long-term goals. Um, Marie is a wonderful child. She is happy. She gets along well with her peers. She enjoys helping, and she is really good at asking for help when she needs help. So those are some strengths she's definitely got going toward for her. Um, she does pretty well in math as well, and she's confident in that. Um, some of the things that the weaknesses that I see in her is that her confidence level is um, comes down a little bit when it comes to reading, especially if it's something that she has to read in class. She um, possibly I should, gets embarrassed a little bit, but she's kind of shy anyway. But um, I've noticed that she doesn't like reading very well, very much in front of others. Um, so hopefully we can work on boosting her confidence as well to um, help her read better. And with her having such a good vocabulary skill, that should help her in um, getting her reading skills up as well. Um, let's see here. Yeah, so her fluency rate is um, impacting her ability to understand and comprehend and access um, the general ed curriculum at her grade level, which is why, um, as I stated, we will be um, continuing at the first grade level. If she exceeds these goals that we have written, um, then we will do a survey level assessment and um, bump her to a second grade reading level and test her there. If after um, six weeks she just continues to go out of her goal range, then we will have um, a meeting to discuss that further. Um, another thing that we're working on is... Um, her sentence structure, so she has a little bit of hard time completing um, grammatical sentences in both conversation and sometimes writing. Sometimes it's uh, hard to understand what she's trying to say. Um, when she's reading, um, I've noticed that she admits um, S's at the end of sentences, and sometimes she doesn't, uh, she skips over the little words like is and at. Uh, so we are working on that, and that is something that we have brought up to her, so she is aware of that. Okay. Uh, she's also going to be working on uh, WH questions and how. Um, Okay, so one way that you guys can help um, Marie at home is having her read aloud to you every night and then also getting her books that she feels comfortable at her comfortable at her level of reading to also read quietly before bed. The more that she um, reads aloud and you can help her um, with the words that she doesn't know, she's going to build her confidence up and she will um, improve her reading great lengths with her confidence boosting as well. Um, I forgot at the beginning of the meeting to give you your um, parent rights. Um, this is something that has the safeguards for your protection. Um, you can take this packet with you. It's for yours to keep. I'm sure you have one already. And those are any other questions or concerns that you might have for me, being her case manager. Um, make sure I went through everything here for you. Um, but like I said, um, she is great help. Um, she loves helping out, being a help to others. Um, positive. She does ask for help when she needs help. Um, I think with us keep working on uh, what she is after consulting with her teachers um, for guidance in her curriculum we can work together also if you guys want to go to the public library maybe and she can pick out books um, a 
of things that she's interested in, then um, she can bring those to school too and we can work on reading those. Um, she can write a story about them, like a, um, a book review, uh, and then we can go over those if she has any other items that she would like to read on a list as well. That would be wonderful. Um, so again, uh, this is for Marie Brown's IEP meeting. And is there any questions that you might have for me? Okay, great. It was nice you guys coming in and have a great day. Thank you.